we often need some small bite of information that might do wonders for our project. Recently, I was working on a project on React, which was configured with Vite, and I had to dynamically import some images. So I know how to statically import the image and use it, but dynamically, I stumbled upon something and figured out, okay, this is something worth sharing. So here is a video that is going to teach you very quickly how you can handle the image importing, dynamic image importing in your React app if the app is scaffolded with Vite project. So I'm going to create a very small application and with that application, I'm going to teach you that. So let's go and let's learn. But before that, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe because if you do that, it's going to motivate me to share a lot of stuff, a lot of findings and a lot of fundamental aspect with you. And if you like this video, please like and share. That will be a great help. All right, without any further delay, let's get started. To get started with the project, I'm using a template repository under my account called Vite Tailwind React. This is the repository I have created so that I can quickly start with any React project with Vite and Tailwind. To get started, I created a repository using this create a new repository button and then clone the repository locally. After that, I did yarn install and yarn dev. So the project is running locally on localhost 5173. And as I access the project on localhost 5173, I can see the UI coming up like this. All right, so it's time to import this project into VS Code. And in VS Code, if I go to the code and open up app.jsx, I can now see the text that was rendering on the UI with all the Tailwind CSS style intact. All right, so we'll now focus back on how to import an image dynamically when you are using React with wheat right so for doing that i have already got a few images under the assets folder i have created a product folder and inside the product i have taken some random images if you just go over you can see a bunch of product images over here now in my code i want to import these images and see how they are working so one way i can definitely import these images by statically importing them it means i know the name of an image and then I can import them and I can start using inside my React component. But the focus of this video is how do you do it if you have to dynamically import these images? You don't know the name of it while importing these images, but you still have to make sure that those images import and works not only your local development mode, also on production. Now I'll start writing code to showcase you this. For that, I have come to app.jsx file and whatever I have inside this return i'm going to remove almost everything because i don't need them and i'm going to start coding right now so first let me show you how to import an image statically right so i have an image for example called jhcb.jpg so if i have to import that image i will do import jhcb.assets slash product slash jhcb.jpg right that's the file after that, I'll come over here. I'll write an image tag with img src. And I will use this value that I have imported, jhcb, as a value. Put an alt tag for accessibility. Name it as, say, product. And let's give some class so that it fits well. Let's give wfull and object hyphen cover. All right. And after that, we are going to close this. Here goes my image tag. Let's go to the UI and see how this image appears. Wow, I can see this image as I have given with full and object cover, the image is actually occupying the entire area. But I can see this image, the image got imported clearly. Now, if I have to import this image dynamically, here I knew the name, so statically, no problem. Dynamically, let me start doing that. For that, I have created a file product.js inside the data folder. This source code is shared with you and the link to the source code is in the description of this video. So anytime you want to copy paste that, you can just go there and create a data folder under SRC and create a product.js and inside product.js, you can copy paste this entire stuff. So what am I doing over here? I am creating some fake product data. Okay. So I'm creating product data with this data structure. It has an unique ID. It has a title, price, description, category, cover and some rating and along with that it has a count as well okay now if you look into the cover part of it the cover part is taking an image name this image name basically the same name is one of the image that is there in the src product folder 
now if this image is not coming as an url from any cloud location if this image is located inside your assets folder then you are actually handling that image using this particular image file name so for each of the product name there is an image and the corresponding image is over here now if we want to use this product data structure and try to render a ui along with this title price description all these details also with the cover that means we have to get this cover information dynamically statically we cannot get like any other information title price description cover also will come dynamically in that case how am i going to handle the image that's the crux of this video a call out here all the product details that i have faked over here this data is taken from a free service called fixstoreapi.com the link to that is also given in the description of this video so all the images all this data that i have cooked up all taken from the fixstoreapi.com so in case you want to utilize it for implementing you know your own store you can also use that data it's available for free sure let's move on to app.jsx file here we are going to do rest of the coding so the first thing that we are going to do is in our product.js file we have this data and we are exporting this data using a method called get products we can do that right and this get products we can now import over here into our app.js file right after importing we can take the products out of this function then i don't need this image for now this demonstration is over so i'm going to remove this instead of that i'm going to create one ul over here and inside this ul i am going to iterate through these products so i'm going to copy this and call this map now for each of this product that i will get i'm going to build a ui over here for that i will take a li and of course i will add a key and the key will be product.id because each of the product if you have seen i have given an unique id over here that i am constructing from crypto.random uid which is a javascript api available for you for free inside this now i'm going to construct image here if i give image src equals to product dot cover that is where the image is there alt i am going to give product dot name along with that i'll be giving a similar class name where i'll say take w full and object cover make sense and then close this one along with the image let's show some more details of this product let's say one h2 here we'll add product dot title and then let's add the description of it as well call product dot description sounds good h2 we can add a few class name so that it looks a little bit better maybe we can do text 3xl a bigger text and some margin at the top and bottom li also we can add a few class name so that each of the product card looks a little bit elegant i've added a few class like a flex layout flex column some margin a border to each of this card a border color little bit of shadow and making the border rounded finally at the ul layer let me add some class here i am adding a grid and the grid column right so right now i expect this to render something right it has to work and it has to give me some output some results on the ui i can see each of this card i can see the title i can see a description for each of the product but what is missing is right now the images that i was trying to show now i'll go back to the code for a second and here i have just given product.cover product.cover is nothing but in the product.js file this particular name now you will say that it is just rendering the name it is not getting the path then i must have to give something like this assets slash product slash then the actual result path now should this work if i now go to the ui once again this is also not working so this is where we need to do something to make sure that things works perfectly when you are importing the image dynamically let's get back to the code here go to src create a folder named utils inside utils create a file call image hyphen util dot js inside image hyphen util dot js file we are going to create a function a very simple function this is where i'm going to explain to you about the image import image url and provide a name 
of the image that it takes as a parameter. Now here what we are going to do, Vit provides something called import.meta. Import.meta is a powerful configuration object that comes from Vit, which has a lot of lot of things for developers to gain from. For example, in a Vit project, if you want to manage and maintain environment variables, import.meta.env provides you that. Similarly, if you want to work with the URLs, import.meta.url provides you all the feature and functionalities to deal with the URLs, any kind of URLs. If you notice clearly, here also we are dealing with URL. We need to point to the URL of individual image on the dynamic URL of individual image correctly so that we can render those images correctly on the web page. So from here, we will take Vits import.meta, this particular configuration API to form the URL of each of the images correctly provided we have passed the name of the image to this function. So for this, we'll be constructing a new URL object and a new URL con object constructor takes two things. One is definitely the URL path. So for that, we will give the URL path as dot dot slash assets slash product slash this particular name, dollar name, comma, import dot meta dot URL. Okay, so here we are taking advantage of import dot meta dot URL. And then finally, we'll return the href from it, the actual href string. So let's look into this one again. So what we are giving it's a particular image name. Taking the image name, first it will get the, in, the correct URL, the where that image is located. As image-util.js is located inside utils, so we are giving dot dot slash assets. So it will come out and go to this assets. Then slash product, it will go to this product. If the name is passed as say mcj.jpeg, so that means it will resolve to mcj.jpeg, find that actual images name. Then we are giving the base URL as import.meta.url from wit and finally the href string is what we are returning. Now the final word that we have to do is export this particular image URL from here. That's it. Then we'll come to app.jsx file. We'll import get image URL from the utils. The next thing is to come to the src. And we don't need this full path at all. We don't need any of this stuff. We are just going to remove this, get the actual name of this cover image, which is nothing but these names, MCJ, JHCB, these names. And the method that we imported, get image URL, we will call this method passing this name. So it means that this method is now supposed to return me the actual resolve href URL string and i hope with this the ui will start working bingo so now images are coming cover images are coming title is here description is here and for each of this product we can see the respective images are beautifully rendering so that's it i just wanted to show you like how to import an image dynamically if you're using React.js with Vit. In case your image is available on cloud and if you have an URL, no worries at all. You can directly use that URL over here. But in case your images are there locally and you have to import it, this is one way that you can actually import it just having a utility file and having this with it. And this also works on production. I have deployed the same code on Vercel. So you can see the same code is working well. So it means that it also works on production. One case, this won't work, this trick won't work. The case is like if you are using server-side rendering of React. Because on the server-side rendering case, that import.meta.url, that construct is well different than how it works on the browser. I hope you found it useful. Thank you.